So dear students, we are going to analyze an optimized bubble sort algorithm. What is an optimized bubble sort algorithm? It means that as soon as the array is sorted, the bubble sort algorithm will stop. So let's debug this program. So I will press F11 okay, to launch the debugging mode. So as you can see here, we have the watch window. So I want to track the changes on the array, on the variable i, the variable no swap, and the variable number of items. So as you can see, all these three variables and the arrays have nothing present in them. So I will press F11 twice. As you can see, now the array has these six elements, 274153, 274153. So number of items currently is zero. So as you can see, the arrow yellow is here. It means it is going to execute this statement when I press F11. So I press F11. As you can see, number of items become six. So now we are going to do the first pass in this array. Okay. So I press F11. So we are going to execute this statement, but observe that the value of no swap is currently false. This is because by default, VB initializes this Boolean variable to the value false. But when I press F11, you will see that the value changes to true. So we are doing the first pass. We are going to compare the elements in the array and do swapping where required. So if there is any swapping that will take place, you will see that the value of the swap will become false. So let's observe. Currently I am comparing the value of two and the value of seven, that is these two. So as you can see, there is no swapping to be done since two is not greater than seven. So when I press F11, you will see that the arrow moves to end if because there is no swapping to be done. I press F11, again I press F11. Now we are going to compare seven and four. You can move your cursor to see it here, seven, four. Since seven is greater than four, we need to swap them. So I press F11, it enters the if structure does the swapping as you can see 4 and 7 has been swapped and notice that the current value of no swap is true but when i press f11 it changes to false this indicates that swapping has taken place okay so now we compare the next two element so now we are going to compare 7 and 1 so as you can see, ours 1 has value 7 and ours i plus 1 has value 1. So we are going to compare 7 and 1. So 7 is greater than 1, we need to swap them. I press F11, 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 F11. As you can see, 1 and 7 has been swapped. And the value of no swap was false, it will remain false because Swapping has taken place. I press F11, F11. Now we are going to compare the next two element. So now we are comparing seven and five. So we need to swap them. I press F11, 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 F11. As you can see, five and seven has been swapped. Again, the swap will still have remain, will still have value false because swapping has taken place, I press F11. Now 
now we compare the last two animate in the array that is seven and three so as you can see ours i has value seven ours i plus one has value three so we are comparing seven and three so we need to do swapping i press f11 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 so as you can see three and seven has been swapped and still the value of no swap will remain false because swapping has taken place so we have just finished with the first pause and as you can see at the end of the first pause the value of no swap is false this means that the array is not yet sorted how do we know that the array has been sorted the value of no swap should be true at the end of the pause so now as you can see we start the repeat until loop again so now we are going to do the second pause so we reset the value of no swap to true so as you can see we have reset the value to of no swap to true so again we are going to compare the elements in the array and see if there is any swapping to be done so if you can observe here we have value two four one five three seven as you can see the array is not sorted so i will just press f11 quickly so that we can reach the end of the second pause so f11 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 swapping taking place again swapping taking place so we have reached the end of the second pause as you can see at the end of the second pause we have value two one four three five seven this means the array is not yet sorted and how can we confirm this you will see that the final value of no swap is false so we will move on to the third pause I press f11 so again at the start of each pause we reset the value of no swap to true okay we have reset it to true so now as you can observe here the array is not sorted so we are going to press f11 swapping taking place as you can see one and two has been swapped okay and the value of no swap has changed to false and as you can observe the other elements in the array are already sorted but since we have started this pass we need to complete it so we need to complete the third pass but you will see that the value of no swap will remain false because there was an initial swapping but there won't be any swapping for the other limits so i press f11 as you can see it is moving from if to end if f11 so we need to do some swapping here three has been swapped with four okay so we have reached the end of the third pass as you can see at the end of the third pass we have a sorted array but the value of no swap is still false because during the third pass we had done some swapping so now observe what happens during the next pass that is the fourth pass so we reset the value of no swap it becomes true so as you can see the array is already sorted so during this pass that is the fourth pass there won't be any swapping so what will happen the value of no swap will remain true at the end of the fourth pass so observe carefully here i press f11 no swapping f11 no swapping so as you can see no swapping has taken place so the value of no swap has remained true so now the since the value of no swap is true it indicates that the array is already sorted and the algorithm will stop so i press 
F11. As you can see, we have rich and sub. This means that the optimizable sort has finished. That's it.